Do you know what a dual agent is? Well, stick around to find out. Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Samantha Perlman and I'm a realtor located in central New Jersey. Every week I post videos about what it's like to live and work here and guidance on buying, selling, and investing in the area. If this is something that interests you, consider hitting that subscribe button below and the bell so you don't miss the new videos I release every Monday. In this week's video, we're talking about the definition of what a dual agent is, also known as dual agency or in New Jersey, disclosed dual agency. A disclosed dual agent actually represents both sides of a real estate transaction, both the seller and the buyer. Now here in New Jersey, there are actually two ways a disclosed dual agency comes into play. The first situation where this comes into play and probably the more well-known way is when the same agent actually represents both sides of the deal. So for example, if I have a home that I've listed for sale and through my marketing and sale efforts, I've also procured the buyer, which means I've already um, been obtained by the seller in writing to represent them. And now I have a buyer that is not represented by anybody else that has asked for me to represent them in the transaction. I now represent both sides of that deal. Now the second situation where this comes into play is actually when the same agency represents both sides and I'll explain. Here in New Jersey, my license is a real estate salesperson license. It is required in New Jersey that a real estate salesperson's license gets hung at a brokerage underneath a main broker. So in the second scenario that we're discussing, let's say I have a listing that I have up for sale and another agent brings the buyer, but that agent actually is from my office. Now, technically we are both real estate salespeople and we're two different people, but because our license in New Jersey is hung under the same broker, that is considered disclosed dual agent because, or disclosed dual agency, because it's the same agency representing both sides, even though it is two separate agents. Now I will disclose this and say that not every state actually allows disclosed dual agency or disclosed dual agent. So therefore you should do some research with your own real estate commission to see if it's allowed in your state. Here in New Jersey, it is allowed. However, it must be in writing. So you can't just verbally say to each side, oh, by the way, I represent the other side or my office or my brokerage represents the other side as well. You have to actually get it in writing. And there's a specific form for the buyers and the sellers that they have to sign acknowledging that they are aware of the disclosed dual agent situation. Now let me put some concerns to rest about the disclosed dual agency situation. I hear all the time concerns from both the buyer and the seller. The seller is concerned that the agent might disclose to the buyer how much they're really willing to negotiate down in the price or in inspection repairs, et cetera. And the buyer is really concerned that they know that they've actually been pre-approved for a lot more than what they're offering and they're worried they're gonna tell the seller and it's really gonna hurt them in the negotiation. So let me put some of those concerns to rest. In a disclosed dual agent or agency situation, the agent must carefully explain to each side that they cannot not disclose any information that would give one side an unfair advantage. So in the concerns I mentioned earlier, they can't tell the buyers how much the seller is willing to come down in price because then that would give the buyer an unfair advantage in the negotiations. Same thing goes on the flip side. Now, they are allowed to disclose certain things if they've been given permission from their client to do so. But if they don't have written consent from their client, they must keep it to themselves. And for those of you out there that might be on one side or the other, that might be really trying to beat up that agent to get some information from them, um, you know, to get that advantage during any part of the transaction, please understand that their silence is not a sign that they don't want to help you. It's a sign that they have to be following the rules and regulations and the ethics of the Real Estate Commission in order to maintain their license. As always, I really hope you found this information helpful. If you really like this video and you found value in it, please give it a thumbs up and say hello in the comment section below. Feel free to share it with anybody that you think might also benefit from the information. You know, my goal is to make the content you're looking for, so if you have an idea for a future video, please leave it in the comment section below. And if you haven't already done so, consider hitting that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss the new videos I release every week. I'll see you next week.